Peekaboo, beeka, beeka, peekaboo. Oh my goodness, this little girl is at the ocean and she is hunting and finding shells. Have you been able to do that? So much fun. So her grandmother has told her a secret about those shells that they used to be, the title tells us, Little Houses. What? This book was written by Kevin Henkes, illustrated by Laura Dronzeek, or is Jonesek? I'm not sure. I'd like to get people's names right, but I just don't know how to say that. Look at them all, they're beautiful. Um, this book was published by Green Willow Books. Here we go. When I visit my grandparents at the beach, we stay in a little house. It is so close to the water, you can hear the waves. Sometimes I think someone is calling me, but it's just the waves coming in, going out, a whisper or a roar. I run up and down to meet them. Every morning we look for shells. We almost always find something good. We only keep the ones that are empty. Grandma reminds me that the shells are little houses. And that gets me thinking. Thinking of thin, pale walls of pink or gray, white or white, shiny or dull, a rounded orange room, or one with brown spots like freckles. But who lived here? Where is it now? Is its ghost still inside the curved walls? Is that the sound in a shell? Is that the tiny ghost I hear? We look for empty little houses all morning. Over the sound of the waves, I hear grandma say things we cannot see. I don't know what she's talking about, but I nod anyway and wonder about all the things that might be under the water. Fish as big as cars, creatures whose names I don't know, lost toys, lost coins, lots of lost things that were cried over. Things that might turn up one day, rolling onto shore, maybe just a piece of something to show everyone. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful, Grandpa always says. He also says, the world is so big and there is so much to know and someday you'll know it all. We both smile. I would like to know it all. I'd like to know how far each shell has traveled and how old the rocks and stones are. I'd like to know how deep the water is at its very deepest part and how it can be blue and gray and green and silver and white and black all at the same time. I'd like to know what a pelican thinks of a sandpiper and if a snowy egret has ever seen snow. So right now, I'll walk up and down the beach looking for little houses and thinking about everything I don't know. But one thing I do know is that I will take some little houses back to my house where they'll sit on the shelf in my bedroom. I'll put my favorite in a special place. A house in a house in the world. Have you ever been lucky enough to find some little houses? Pretty cool. Little houses.
I miss you, friends. Mwah.